So, I'm here representing Wealthfront, which is the largest and fastest growing software-based financial advisor. We have grown 5x year over year, starting to get great traction, so I'm very excited to be here and share it all with you. So, our basic mission is to help people like you, techies in Silicon Valley, invest the money that they've worked very hard for very well. And that largely means low fees, index funds, not trying to beat the market explicitly, rebalancing aggressively, and optimizing against the tax code. So in a nutshell, we never try to help you beat the market. We help you optimize against the things that you can control. I am going to show you how simple it is to get started with Wealthfront. And the first thing we do is we take you through a short questionnaire. This exists to do two things. First of all, to gauge your capacity for risk, your objective risk tolerance, um, as well as to gauge your desire for risk, your subjective risk tolerance. So we'll ask questions like, what would you do in a hypothetical market situation? Uh, in addition to things like age, liquid net worth, income levels, things of that nature. So I will go through these uh, very quickly here. And I hope you can see that in the back, but this is the output. You can see here we have a very simple allocation based on whether you are investing in a taxable account or a non-taxable retirement account. The allocations change slightly between the two. And the one thing that will hopefully jump out to you is that we allocate you broadly across a variety of different asset classes. And each of these, the, the lion's share are Vanguard very low cost index funds. So at this point, if I actually wanted to open a brokerage account after reviewing the projected performance, historical performance, the low costs, et cetera, I could go and supply a small amount of information and funding information to actually open an account. A far more interesting way to use my remaining five minutes is to show you what a fully operational account looks like. And that would be something like this. The beauty of Wealthfront is just how simple it is as a product. And you can see here that it works while I sleep. I can log in. I don't have to wait for a human to call me back if I have a question about how my account is performing, if I want to see my return rate, uh, etc. This is an older account, and you can see how it's responded to various changes in market conditions over time. The most interesting thing is probably tax loss harvesting, which is the tax optimization I referred to earlier. And if you ever wanted to dig in and see what kind of trades we're making on your behalf, you can see here that we've strategically taken a loss on one asset, in this case municipal bonds, in your account, and simultaneously traded you into a similar asset that exposes you to the same level of risk. As soon as 30 days have elapsed, we will transition you back into the original security so you avoid the wash sale rule. And we estimate on average that this results in something north of 1% excess return a year. One other thing worth pointing out is that while our fees are low and everybody gets $15,000 managed free, there are several ways that you can save even more money, one of which is to invite friends. So in this particular account, you can see all of the folks who have been invited, and if a friend signs up and funds their account, you get an additional $5,000 managed for free. And that is Wealthfront in a nutshell. And any questions, I would love to take. Yeah. Uh, two questions. One is that says overall return. Is that CAGR or that is a, what is that overall return? So yeah. the question was, what do we mean by overall return? And it's actually a, a metric called time-weighted return. Um, and there's a handful of different ways that you can measure performance. We generally believe that the correct way to measure it so that you can compare it to something like the S&P 500 is to minimize the impact of timing of deposits. A lot of people would intuitively think that 
you should just take money out over money in, and that's called simple return. It's one valid way of looking at your account, but we don't think in general that the right way to think about investing is to try and time the market. In fact, there's a wealth of research on average that shows that you're much better off just investing when you can. Um, so to answer your question, it's a mathematical formula. We actually describe it here. And it takes into account your return trying to net out the effect of time. The second question was, um, you said, you know, if I, if I answer certain questions, then it recommends a portfolio of stocks in the emerging market. Can I save that as a baseline? As, because you are showing me the performance that is expected of that investment portfolio over a period of time, right? Can I save that as a best baseline and then say one year, two years, five years down the road, can I see against your recommendation what the performance is? Yeah, absolutely. Also, it's worth noting, um, we believe in giving away value when we can. You can go through the questionnaire, get the plan, and you're totally more than welcome to go and try to do it yourself. The real value in something like Wealthfront is having the passive ability to just put money away, have it rebalanced for you, collect dividends that get reinvested, etc in addition to all the tax optimization. Any other questions? Uh, what's your management fee for above the $15,000? It's 25 basis points, so one quarter of 1%. Every year? Yeah, per year. I don't think it's the correct comparison. So you're definitely correct. Vanguard has very low fees. What they won't do is take care of the rebalancing. They won't pay for your commissions, which we take care of for you. Um, they won't reinvest dividends unless you take care to set that up ahead of time, things of that nature. Um, the real comparison you'd want to make is to somebody like Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, somebody who would manage your money for you. You generally find that people in that line of work will charge anywhere from 100 to 200 basis points. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, guys.